a design like the one here into a smart object in Photoshop. And I'm just going to quickly go and do that. And then use the camera raw filter. I've just converted it to a smart object. It's going to go to filter, camera raw filter. And now, once it actually appears, will appear. You can modify the colors in thousands of different ways. It's one of these really powerful features of Photoshop, tucked away in one big filter. And now, you can do various things like, I'm just gonna slightly blur it. You can actually get a nice sort of blurry effect just by changing down the clarity. And also you can change the vibrance. Obviously you don't wanna make it too, uh, yellow but I'm just gonna tweak the temperature that's the other way All right click OK now one good thing about this you can actually apply it again so you can just go to filter camera raw filter and every time you apply it the camera raw filter there's another one being added here now one thing I would love to see in Photoshop and it's a pity that it's not available and maybe it is but I certainly never seen it and that's a, a duplication of smart filters. I'd love to see that adjusting. So you just actually, instead of just keep going into the filter, it could actually just quickly apply it. Right, so again, you can reduce the clarity again. You can see it now it's becoming quite nice and smeary and blurry. Modify the exposure as well. It's slightly darker. There again, put the saturate. Don't put the saturation. The best is actually the vibrancy. I think vibrance is much better than the saturation. So I'm just gonna, Push that up slightly. And again, you can go and do it again. And then by that time, we've actually got quite a blurred image. So just do, comes up again. Right. Put the clarity down again. So, vibrancy again. And again, like so you can change the tint that way or the other way. Ooh, garish green. Maybe make it slightly darker, just reduce the exposure. Click OK. So once you've actually done that, you've actually literally can thousands of variations on colour just by doing it. And of course they're all accessible and you can change them, remove them quickly just by clicking the eye there. Just remove it. Very quick and easy to produce some interesting designs. Now, of course, once you've actually got the design as a smart object, and this is the good thing about smart objects, comes up with a little dial dialogue there you can actually modify this just move it around double click that all the effects are reapplied instantly you don't have to go through all the rigmarole of adding the effects again and also another good thing about this you can actually go over here and I'm going to bring in something else so I'm just just going to add a background so you can actually see a background there so place embedded and I'm going to select file so I can place right so there's design there and I'm just gonna layer arrange center back so now I've got that design got two design now I can actually go with the layer new adjustment layer and I'm going to add curves so I'm going to add a curves on there click OK modify that and you'll notice when you do that you actually plot can apply special effects to Obviously there in front because I've placed it in the wrong position it does help. She wanted to apply it to the whole lot, so there it's actually applied to all of that layer and also the Roxy darken layer. Special effects there. Right, what you can do then, of course, you can actually just select that and that one. Now go back to the layer, smart objects, convert to smart object, and the smart object just and the adjustment adjustment layer just gets associated with that one. So you can move it around. That one now is totally untouched. So it's quite nice sort of, and not only that, of course it's still editable. So you can just basically double click that, go in, and you can still modify the curve. So if you want a slightly different curve that you don't like that curve effect, just go there, modify the curve effect, come out of that PSB file, save, and there's the effect. Of course, as a layer, you can just do Alt, duplicate that and you can modify each of those independently then so you can actually just go edit the contents of that design to create some pretty extreme color effects.
Right, and that's just using smart objects, camera raw filter, and adjustment layers. I hope you found this.